Turgrid, God of Fear, looks to be one of the meanest of potential commanders I've seen out of the set. 5 mana mono black god, that says whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card onto the battlefield under your control from a graveyard. This really takes the motto of, oh you wanted to play that? to let me show you how to play it instead. In addition, she's a beautiful 4-5. On the other side is Turgrid's Lantern, a 4 mana mono black legendary artifact with tap. Target player loses 3 life unless if they sacrifice a non land permanent or discard a card. An additional activated ability for 3 generic and a black that says untap Turgrid's Lantern. This card serves as a tasty morsel for any deck that includes black in it serving as a nice value engine for other discard or sack commanders by taking opponents' discards or things they just decide to get rid of. Commanders like Tiny Bones, Trick of Thief, Sir Conrad the Grim, and Maserick Crawl Death Priest all reward you for dealing with your opponent's field and board in the form of card draw, free damage, or boosting your own side of the board. But Tegra does all three. By running cards like Dark Deal, Bottomless Pit, and Oppression, happily make sure that your opponents are offering at least one card for you to potentially consider joining your ranks. With Bottomless Pit and Oppression punishing the whole table via discard every turn, and Dark Deal being your opponent's worst nightmare, your board should hopefully fill up quick. If watching your opponent struggle to choose what to give you, in terms of sacrifices may interest you in a humble plague crafter. It's a two generic one black human shaman that makes each player sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. If they can't, they go right back to discarding cards. Additionally, Innocent Blood gives us the same effect in the form of a one CMC black sorcery, and Living End puts the table on a three turn countdown for two generic and two black. Sure, each player removes all creatures from the graveyard from the game, which with Tigrid on the field it won't be much, but then sacrifices every creature they control before returning what little was exiled to the graveyard to their side of the field while you get everything that was sacrificed. If you're looking for a bit more versatility, the infamous Liliana the Veil vale is a one generic two black planeswalker with a toolbox that fits perfectly for a new friend. Her uptick is a targeted discard while her neg two forces that value tribal deck to sacrifice a creature. Her neg six says separate all permanents target player controls into two piles. That player sacrificed all permanents in the pile of their choice. Liliana is too good of an interaction not to have in this deck. Rankle Master of Pranks is a two generic two black fairy rogue that manages to hit the whole table with a good time. It's a 3-3 with flying and haste, and if it deals combat damage, you can choose out of three other given options. Everyone discards, everyone sacks, or everyone loses one life and draws a card. This in a four-player game and a table full of creatures, this guarantees at least three new bodies for your side of the field. If the value from Tegrid is not enough for you, adding the four mentioned Sir Conrad, make sure anything that's discarded or hits the graveyard, pings each opponent for one. Waste Not becomes a supportive two man enchantment that gives you a couple bonuses depending on what your friends discard. You get a 2-2 zombie if they rid themselves of a creature card, two black mana if they rid a land, and if it's anything else, go ahead and draw yourself a card. On the other side, and a little bit of a spinoff, but Dictate at Erebos for three generic and two black ensures that whenever you have to kill something off yourself, it just means another round of sacrificing for the table. And the fantastic thing is, if you find yourself in a board controlling state from all the shenanigans that you put on the field before, and are finding the table slowing down with things to give you, Flip Tegrid over and play her lantern. For as much mana as you have in sets of four, you can lightning bolt players unless they sacrifice a non land permanent or discard a card. With enough mana, you could probably wipe someone out entirely. After all these shenanigans, I'm sure you could add in cards like Shouldered for a passive income of sacrifices and reanimation from your own graveyard. Maybe you want to take advantage of those graveyard triggers this game and cast Bitter Ordeal. For two generic and a black, you can cast this to search through your opponent's libraries for as long as you want for each time a card has hit the graveyard. Go ahead and exile any number of cards up to that number from your opponent's deck. If you want to double up on triggered abilities throughout the deck, Stronic Resonator is a great choice. It's too generic to put in play, and its activated ability costs too generic to copy a triggered ability, which would be lots of, unless if someone, for some reason, has an infinite supply of stifle. I'm excited to see Turgrid come out, and I'm really hoping she works out as planned. That is really all I have to say about Turgrid today. She looks absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to start playing with her. Anyways, talk soon. Peace.